it is a moral obligation for the government around the world to decide to step in. If I was speaking to President Barack Obama, I would tell him that. Being a superpower comes with responsibility. This is one of it. Being a human being calls for you to take action. This is the time to do that. Being a father, this is the only option you should take to rescue the girls. If you offer me intelligence, help, and I don't know how to put it to use. You haven't solved the problem. There's no point handing me a gun if you don't teach me how to pull the, tri pull the trigger. I need to be able to use whatever information you give to me. We've not seen that happen. So I don't know, but I'm calling on the international community. You've offered us intelligence support, and we have not been able to use it maximally, so much so that we have our results of the girls being brought back. It is a tragedy that the world cannot afford. This is 276 girls we're talking about. It is a tragedy that I, as an individual, I refuse to accept. It's a tragedy that Nigerians have said they would not accept. I may not be able to march to the forest and get the girls back, but I can call on those who can to do that. We cannot say of our, of our generation that we are alive and 276 girls are taken away by terrorists. Are we now saying that the Boko Haram is more powerful than all the military in the world? Or are we saying it's not enough? The Malaysian airplane crashed. We didn't even know where. We didn't even know if they survived. Are you aware of the amount of resources that have gone into searching for them? We're not, we're not sure that they are alive. But the entire world has channeled so much resources to help find that plane so that their families can at least have a closure. These girls are still alive. And all we can do is intelligent support. As a people, you will be able to tell your children tomorrow that you were alive and 276 girls were abducted by terrorists that just started perfecting their acts. So they're not even sophisticated to that point. I think it's a failure on the part of my government. I think it's a failure on the part of my people. I think it's a failure on the international community. I think it's a failure on the entire world if we let this slide. 56 days, we're not talking about an hour. What would you do if it was your child? Does, does it seem far away? Does it seem like it's so far? Nigeria is far, not east. Uh, no, not east of Nigeria is so far. Does it seem like that? It's not. If you cannot tackle Boko Haram in the small space of what they occupy now, nobody is safe. And I dare to say that. Nobody is safe. Because this is an Islamic sect. Once they are done destroying that part of the country, it is only natural for them to expand. So the American who sits in America is not safe. The people in Britain are not safe. The people in Uganda, Rwanda, you are not safe until all of us come together to say we need to address this issue now before we have another Al-Qaeda on our hands. I feel bad about the Malaysian aircraft. I feel completely bad about it, but I feel worse for a group of girls that we have information that they are alive and we are not doing anything. The most that we as ordinary citizens can do is to keep talking about this issue, make sure it's in the news, but the government of the entire globe need to do something. It's not enough to carry a placard, bring back our girls, you need to back it with action. 
That is why you're a superpower. That is why you're in government. That is why you are in power. You need to put it to use now.